Hey guys, my name is Keely and welcome back to my channel. Now this is a rose themed video. This doesn't necessarily just mean rose. Um, what I am going to start with is rose quartz. So rose quartz is, I'm going to take it out, I have a big thing of it. I don't think I have any little pieces of rose quartz that haven't been wrapped or kind of aren't being used on an energetic level like I'm using them in crystal gridding and things like that so I don't want to show them but I have a big thing of large pieces of rose quartz. <clears throat> and so rose quartz is an amazing stone for invoking that love energy. Um, a lot of people use it to like manifest love, like physical, romantic, that kind of love. Um, I've noticed <clears throat> on a personal level, you can do your own research on that, um, I've noticed it as more of a compassion stone. And that's because this uh, heart chakra is the middle of two kind of worlds, that spiritual top three chakra area. So like the third eye, the creative expression, the understanding of, you know, those that area and the bottom three chakras so the manifesting wealth abundance power that kind of world so this kind of bonds both places is this um this stone and i find that when i wear it or when i um have it with me or i'm working with it there is kind of a sense and i'm going to back up a little bit i am someone that has always had um probably up until the last year uh, some really really heavy anxiety not anxiety attacks per se but I've always been anxious that has always been an energy that has like surrounded me so this uh, stone actually helped me get over that and um, I wore this I wrapped a stone I wrap stones all the time if you want to <laughs> look at my stuff check down here um, not down here down in the search bar um, <laughs> But uh, this stone, I wrapped it and I set an intention and prayed over it that it would do what it needs to do because I had read really good things about it. And I actually came in there with an intention of I want some kind of romantic love. I feel like I'm like a serial like single person. So that was like my mindset at the time. But what I got out of it was a lot more powerful because I started um, like a um, more of a self journey type of situation and this really really helped with my anxiety and any time that I it kind that energy kind of picks back up again I immediately grab a rose quartz and wear it or have it on me for the day because it is so beautiful for invoking compassion and self-acceptance and acceptance of other people and so this helps you to not become overwhelmed with your situations not feel overwhelmed with really a whole lot you kind of even the playing field between spirituality and um, your physical manifestations so second thing I want to go over is rose water now I have it in two different forms and this is just stuff that I've grabbed uh, grabbed from my own healing space my own area and I have um, this is really really beautiful stuff this is heritage store rose water yeah that's what it is this is what it looks like I think it's like I don't know eight bucks or something I've used the frick out of it but I think the thing about this is that it's blessed I think that's the case like it has been like infused with um, yeah, see it says, water that has been vortexed and magnetized to raise the energy of a higher vibration um, for whatever it is. So this has basically been set on some kind of grid. So the energy and intention has been set to um, really, really heal and help at the highest quality that it can. And you can definitely tell. Um, you could probably make one of these really, really simple from putting some water and a couple of drops of rose water but sometimes it's really nice to get those healing and those blessings from another source because then you get that extra sense of perspective and it's really really special um 
you can look up all sorts of beauty remedies and stuff. It's really, really great for cleansing your hair, your skin, um, all sorts of stuff. So I use this one specifically to, um, sometimes I use it on my skin after I've like coconut oil, wash it, all that stuff. Um, and I spray it on my skin, whatever. It's amazing for your skin. It helps with capillaries and um, blood and all sorts of uh, all sorts of like skin related things. So you have eczema, you have um, burns, anything along those lines. It's going to kind of even out your skin tone and the feeling of it. And it's it's really really nice. Um, if you don't want to go out and buy like an eight dollar thing, I have. Rose water. Oh, <laughs> I have rose water. It's uh, this brand that now solutions, and I think this was like ten dollars. Look around because they the rose water gets very very expensive depending on where you go with it and what you <laughs> get. You know, so I think this one was nine ninety five, and I got it from a local like honey shop. But I've seen them at like $15 and $16 for just kind of small cases. So you have to really be wise about that. But you can just put a couple of drops into a water spray, pray over it, bless it. Um, if you don't know anything about blessing water, I would look into the idea of and the study of Dr. Emoto. And he did a lot of blessing, like molecular blessing um, that changes the whole idea and that's kind of what this is about this rose water holds the energy of and rose in general that's why this there's kind of been like a cliche of rose and it's always been used for like wedding rituals and things like that because it does invoke a very romantic a very beautiful rose colored glass energy and so most mornings when I make, like, I have this uh, routine where I make, uh, like, a juice or a, I blend up a bunch of berries and uh, maca powder and all sorts of stuff. And so I usually use rose water with that, a couple of drops at least, and it changes the whole dynamic energetically. It completely changes the energy, and it's almost as if you've put, um, like, a lens of poetry over your existence it is the most beautiful feeling and so if you're feeling down or anxious or anything like that i would highly 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 suggest putting some rose water in your water just regular water or anything you can even put some rose water in your hand there's not a whole <laughs> just a little bit and put it over some stones and bless that or put it over your skin and bless your skin there's that energy of that rose in here so that's what I would suggest for that um, another thing that I have is rose petals this is a little container I picked up literally a dollar at the dollar store I need to go get some like mason jars and stuff but this is what I have for now and so I literally uh, got this from I don't know if it was Sprouts or a different, maybe it was that honey store. I don't remember. Oh, no, no, I got it from an apothecary downtown. Um, so I got it from an apothecary. It wasn't that expensive. And I use it also in my smoothies and also in my, my blends and any kind of incense. I'm usually throwing rose petals on there because for herbs and what the earth does for us um and this this doesn't i mean this isn't specifically rose but all of these rose types of themes carry this love energy so if you're typically an anxious person or if you're typically a judgmental person or you have tendencies to feel overwhelmed with your situation there is if you use any of these um types of blends herbs whatever in this rose form you're going to be kind of encapsulated for the day or for that period of time or whatever if you're doing some kind of ritual or something like that this energy is going to bring a sense of wonder and excitement and not even just romantic love which it definitely can invoke um but using rose 
in any situation in your life, even, um, I mean, it's pretty common for people to just carry around in like a pouch or something certain kinds of herbs and if you're doing that with rose you're definitely going to feel a sense of that rose colored glasses thing it's not going to make you naive or anything like that but it's going to make everything kind of have a beautiful twist to it um a poetic twist to it which is really really beautiful and any kind of food any kind of anything this is very sweet it's very obviously it's rose so it's very like what's up what up <laughs> it's a very floral um, smell so if you don't like flowers I'm sorry find a way to incorporate this in your life and I guarantee it will get a whole lot sweeter and a whole lot more beautiful and compassionate find a way to invoke this love energy and this is what I highly highly recommend over a lot of other things and that is all I've got I love you guys so much hopefully we do this again soon I love you guys